I'll show you how to connect your OKX account to TradingView. This lets us trade from OKX, but using TradingView as the interface, so we can use the charting software, alerts, and also we can actually trade from TradingView, and it's manipulating trades within our OKX brokerage account. So the two things we need are a TradingView account and our OKX account, assuming you have both of these if you're watching this video. If you don't, I'll leave some links below to TradingView and OKX. You can get some uh, discounts and offers on both of these by those links and some other exchanges I use. I'll link those below with some deposit and trading bonuses for new users. But from here, the first thing we need to do before connecting is go to trade in your OKX account and then either spot or futures, it doesn't matter. On the right hand side of the trading screen, we need to click the settings and then account mode. Just make sure that you're in the account mode that you want to trade. So if you want to trade futures or options, you need to be in futures mode. That will make those products available on TradingView. You can see them and trade them. If you just trade spot, then just click spot mode. Whichever mode that you want to use, just make sure that you're in it, and then those products will uh, be available on TradingView to actually go ahead and trade. In order to connect our account, we first have to find the trading pair that we want to trade on OKX. So go to the top left-hand corner of your TradingView, and then I'm gonna search for the Bitcoin USDT trading pair. But you can't just pick any of them because these are listings on different exchanges, right? So what we'll do is press crypto in the middle. And then down here it says all sources, click that. And then search for OKX. Click OKX. And these are the assets, trading pairs and products that are listed on the OKX exchange that we can trade once we link our account. So I'm gonna choose Bitcoin USDT and the spot listing. So click that one. And this is the chart of that specific trading pair on OKX. Now down at the bottom, you want to click trading panel here. Click that, and then you can drag this up as well if you can't see anything. And then from here, click OKX. And it says, do you want to connect? Now you can connect your account, that's live here, that's your live trading account. You can also connect demo as well if you just wanna try this out, uh, if you're not sure of anything. OKX does have a demo trading feature as well, so you can connect that account. I'm gonna connect my live trading account, click connect, then it goes through to your OKX, so you need to be logged in in the same browser, and it says, do you want to connect these accounts? Press authorize, and it should pretty quickly connect the accounts. Now what I can see here is all of the trade and account details in my OKX account. So it's showing me all of the trades that I did over the last few days, my history here over forever, my account summary, which is the assets that I hold in my account, and everything else. So that's how you connect it, and you see everything here, and it's just reading the, the data from the API connected to OKX. Up here where it says account, just make sure that you're in the account that you want to trade with. So that's your USDT and USDC margin accounts here. That's your crypto margin, if you're using crypto asset collateral to margin. These are futures uh, trading accounts, and then your spot account. So that's connected, and then we can go ahead and trade on OKX as well. We can enter all of our trade details via the trade panel. So that should pop up right here next to your brokerage once you connect it. So click trade, the panel pops up. You can either be a seller or a buyer, and then you can manipulate the order just like on OKX or any other exchange. So if you go to market order here, you can be a seller here, choosing an amount of BTC you want to sell either in USDT terms or in Bitcoin units. Uh, you can be a buyer here, same thing. You can choose how much you wanna buy and place that order. We can use a limit order as well. So the price for the limit order, you can actually edit this via the trade screen here. So let's be a seller and we can you know, sell up at this price and you can see the price moves as we drag it and that would actually enter your order at that price. This is great for trading you know, different resistance levels because you can actually just drag you know, those levels right onto your screen. If uh, you want a stop loss at this price, you can do that. So down here, if you can click stop loss, then your stop loss order goes on. You can drag that around as well, makes it a little bit easier. Um, and that just changes everything for you. That's the stop loss here, so you can move that down or up or anything else, right? So that will uh, let you do that. Or you can just put the uh, prices here on the screen as well. Now, if you press the order right here, that goes into your OKX brokerage and actually enters those orders and they will execute just like trading on OKX. Now, what you can do if you uh, want to cancel this as well, go to the order, right click, and then either edit or cancel. And then again for this one, right click, cancel, and that takes it out on the trade panel as well. Links below to some offers on TradingView, OKX, and some other exchanges, and full tutorial guides for all of these platforms down in the description below. I'm James, it's Money ZG. Cheers for watching, and I'll see you in the next one.